Welcome back to Dreamfall Chapters Book 2. Let's go check out Hannah's Hideout. There's like nothing here. Can I go in the pipe? It's so dark. Get oh. the fuck out of here! Are you Han? Whoa, whoa, easy, easy. Just, just put that knife down. Who are you? What do you want? I should let her know why I'm here. I mean, she has no idea who I am. The best thing to do right now is to stay calm and tell her my name. Um, I, I don't know if it matters which one. I want to go with Queenie, but then again, she's asking me who I am, and telling her that Queenie sent me doesn't actually tell her that, so I guess I'll just answer her question directly and tell her my name. My name's Zoe. I don't know any Zoe. Queenie sent me. She's worried about you. Tell her not to worry. Tell her I'm just peachy. Now get out. Finally found Hannah. Now I just need her to talk to me. I can't just tell Queenie you're peachy. She'll ask questions. She wants to know if I'm fine. Really. You're obviously not fine. Abby said Hannah's scared. That she's on the run. I don't think she's fine at all. If you're fine, why are you running? Who said I'm running? Abby did. She told me... That's how you found me. She blabbed that... that duper. She's always been weak. I didn't give her much choice. I had to find you. She won't tell anyone. She's always trouble. And she's addicted to the dream machine. She really misses you. She's not my responsibility. We're not... I'm not her girlfriend. Not... I'm not good for her. She's not safe around me. She'll get hurt. Why? Who's after you? All these questions. Who are you again? Zoe Castillo. Right, and how is any of this your business, Zoe Castillo? Who do you work for? No one. Seriously, enough with the paranoia. Queenie wanted me to find you. She's concerned. That's the only reason I'm here. You could show some appreciation for the people in your life who do care. In my experience, they usually want something in return. You might be surprised. Don't underestimate people. Don't overestimate people. <sighs> Look, I, I did stuff, a job, a dangerous job for some very dangerous people, and now I have to watch my back. Then let us help you. You can't help me. Queenie can't help me. No one can. If they find me, you really don't know who you're dealing with, and there's no way to stop them, all right? So just leave me be. Could she be running from Mr. London? He controls the criminal underworld in Propast. He might be connected. Maybe she's running from the Eye. They must know about Hannah's gang and they can't be very happy about it. Hmm. I feel like Mr. London is the most likely, but then again, the Eye, you know, the presence of the Eye has just increased. Lately, it's, it's just exploded. So... I actually don't know. Let's go to London. I've run into Mr. London myself. I know how scary he can- Mr. London? Right, sure. Scary. The people I'm hiding from are a lot worse than London. I'm done talking. Go back to Queenie. Tell her to not worry about me. I don't think that'll be enough to make her stop worrying. <sighs> Fine. One second. Give her this. Tell her I got your message, that you did your job and that. Tell her that I'm working on it. Those paintings in your room, did you paint them yourself? You were in my nest. 
I, I was looking for you. That doesn't give you the right to break into my home, Suka. Those are my drawings. Why? I recognize the images from dreams. Look, I know this sounds crazy and I can't explain it, but... From dreams, my dreams. And no, I don't use a dream machine. I just have weird dreams. Why would we have the same dreams? How do I know you're not lying? I don't know you. I don't know who you are. Just go away. I just... <sighs> yeah. Okay. Wait. Wait. Hmm? Is it true? About your dreams? I... I only remember the one dream. But there have been many others. I... have amnesia, but my memories are starting to come back. And your drawings... I've seen those images before. It can't be a coincidence. No coincidence, no story. Zoe, right? Zoe Castillo. I'll think about what you said, Zoe Castillo. If I think you're telling the truth, I'll look you up. Now I really need you to leave. I have things I need to do, and you shouldn't be seen down here with me. She somehow seems to have similar powers to me if she's seeing those dreams. Madame is in. She's been expecting you. At long last, the castle dweller returns. I'm really sorry I took so long. Tut, tut, this is delicate work. Stand perfectly still. Fly, little one. Oh, look at that. You look tired, Miss Castillo. Is everything all right? I haven't slept so well. And have you found what you were looking for? You mean, do I remember anything yet? Maybe. I'm not sure. I'm working on it. Don't expect your memories to arrive all at once and neatly organized. Like all awakenings, it can be a slow and befuddling process. The important thing is to embrace every memory and to push nothing aside. So, any news about our Hannah? I assume that's why you're here today. She asked me to give you this. She says she's fine and that she's... she's working on it? How did she appear to you? Do you believe her when she says she's fine? No, I'm not gonna lie. I don't want to worry, Queenie, but Hannah did not sound fine. Maybe it'll hurt the campaign, but I don't think I should keep this from her. Honestly, I don't think she's fine. She's scared. Her friend Abby told me she's been hiding. She's afraid of something. Someone. She didn't say who? Abby didn't know. And Hannah wasn't very forthcoming. She doesn't trust many people. She barely trusts me, and I have... Well, I hope I've given her enough reasons to trust me. But she's had a hard life, poor girl. I appreciate your honesty, Zoe. Thank you for tracking her down. Where is she now? It can't hurt letting Queenie know where to find Hannah. Maybe she can help. I can probably trust Queenie, but I don't want to betray Hannah's trust. Hmm. I 
I trust Queenie to take care of Hannah more than I trust Hannah to be able to take care of herself. So I'm going to tell her. You know those yellow towers? The so-called wireless power grid. What do you mean? They were never part of the grid. Those towers were built for another purpose. What about them? There are children living in the tunnels below. They call them nests. Like you said yourself, it's a whole subterranean city. Hannah's hiding in one of those nests here in the bricks, just past the stairs to the plaza. I'm glad you've told me. I won't betray your trust and seek her out. I'm just happy to know she's close. The so-called wireless power grid. Yeah, I'm really curious what purpose they were built for. What are those towers? I honestly don't know. I do know they were never used for the wireless power grid. They were built after they dismantled that system. I have my theories, but that's for another time. You have gone above and beyond your duty, Zoe. You have shown that you care about our community. And while I'm still worried about Hannah, at least now I know she's alive. Very well. You asked for my support, and you have it. I will endorse your candidate. The bricks stand behind Unity and Leah Uminska. <laughs> I was just thinking, like, oh yeah, the reason I'm doing this is to get Queenie's support, but what I haven't done yet is figured out where that strange money is coming from. Leah might be a corrupt candidate. So... Maybe Unity is involved in something illegal. But if I tell Queenie that, she'll probably withdraw her support. And that will damage our chances in Propast. Maybe Unity and Uminska are innocent. But I can't keep the truth from Queenie, regardless of how it affects our campaign. I'm not going to lie to her. I don't think I could even... I don't even think I could. She's extremely smart, and if she ever finds out I lied to her, she would never help me ever again. Not to mention, if Leah is actually corrupt or something of the sort, then I don't want our candidate to win. Because I'm going to drop the hell out of this, out of this thing, and I'm not going to support uh, Leah. So, yeah, I'm going to warn her. I'm going to warn her. Let's see what other people chose. Damn it! <laughs> Why am I always in the majority? Uh, I don't actually want to be. Because if I do something that most people haven't done, then it might be more interesting. Oh well. I wish I could just accept your support, but I can't. Not now. Oh? And why is that? Lea Uminska might be involved in something illegal, or at least unethical. We don't know for sure yet. That is unfortunate. Even the possibility that Unity might be mixed up in something objectionable makes it impossible for me to lend my support to the campaign. I'm sorry, Ms. Castillo, but there is too much at stake. I do hope your investigations uncover no funny business. But I'm afraid this means I cannot support the Social Democrats. I hope you understand my position. I do. And I'm really sorry. So am I. If you ever need my help with anything else, I'm here. I owe you that. I'm afraid there's work to do. So I'll have to ask you to leave. Good day, Miss Castillo. Oh, before you go... Yes? You mentioned you weren't sleeping well. Do you dream? Constantly. Yes. Pay heed to your dreams, Miss Castillo. Do not underestimate them. I remember the first time you visited. I told you you weren't quite here. And you're not. Part of you is lost in dreaming. And part of you, part of you is a dream. You're not all here. 
That worries me. I think more than anything, you need to remember. And you need to wake up. W what do you mean by... I don't know. Like I said, there is work to be done. But remember, I'm here if you need me. Welding, 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 welding! <laughs> if I finish the job, the very lucky isn't screwed up and I won't get fried when I ring Mira's doorbell. So that's now multiple people that have told me I need to wake up. Between that and the fact that this vent didn't even exist before, before Abby ran into it. And everything just seems strange, like something very strange is happening. This is not entirely reality. Something's wrong. Also, I have to mention, something that's bothering me a little bit is that the way the story has flowed out feels, it feels a bit forced. So before I said it was, it was kind of clever and funny how they kind of uh, directed the, the flow of events, the sequence of the story by having Shitbot be, <laughs> be welding the perimeter defenses of Pandemonium. It's, it's, you know, it's kind of a funny way to force the flow of it. You can't come back and decrypt the information get the information decrypted by Mira until that happens, and obviously, of course, you know, because of game logic, that shitbot isn't actually going to finish the job on a timer, he's going to do it after a certain other story event happens, and it turns out that story event was the whole Hannah storyline with Queenie. But, as you can see, the fact that I couldn't decrypt the information before talking to Queenie meant that I didn't know whether there was anything to worry about when it comes to supporting the Social Democrats. If I could have decrypted the information, I would have known. Maybe there's nothing, maybe nothing bad is going on. And then I wouldn't have had to warn Queenie. Because I would know. But the fact that you're not allowed to actually go back to Mira, to, to Mira before talking to Queenie means that you're forced to be uncertain. Which feels very forced now. Before it was funny that Shitbot was welding and I couldn't get in there, but now it just feels forced because I can, I can see the underlying game logic and what they're forcing me into and it looks like like, I just feel like I just got railroaded into this, into this, uh, the situation that didn't need to be. Because in reality, I obviously could have just waited. There's no reason that Queenie had to be told about Hannah right then and there. She could have, I could have waited. I could have waited days. So there's no reason I couldn't have just waited until Shitbot was done. And gone to Mira, decrypted the information, and then not actually come talk to Queenie until I actually had information in hand. So the fact that they forced that to be the case, in a fairly unrealistic kind of silly way, uh, I feel like it just got railroaded. So something that was kind of funny, shitbot <laughs> welding around the door, turned into something that just feels kind of eh. Like I can see the underlying story structure and I can see exactly what they did there and they're trying to force you into that hard decision of whether you tell Queenie or not, and it feels very fake. I don't like it. I can give you directions to anywhere in Profast. How did it go? I got the data. So you're not completely useless after all. That's a surprise. Come over here. I'll download and decrypt it. One sec. Basic encryption. Standard syndicate protocols. Let's take a look. I don't really know what I'm looking at. Financial transactions, Petal. Big ones from various shadow accounts into the party's campaign. Well, fuck me. What do we have here? Unity's taking bribes. Well, yes, obviously. These are just standard corporate shadow accounts. Won't be too hard to trace the transactions. No, I'm talking about the rest of it. There are detailed records of meetings between Ominskar and Konstantin Wolf. 
arranged and attended by Watikop officials. What? What? Jesus Christ. The mother chords have kept files on everything. Like it's just business as usual. What a bunch of gandhas. And look at this. You know there's been talk about regulating the dream machine. Uh, yeah. Uh, Uminska has been an outspoken proponent for regulation and... According she... to this, if Unity wins, Uminska's going to give Wati a card blank to sell dream machines and operate dream emporiums in Europolis. Wati Corp will be able to provide government licensed dream time access to everyone, everywhere, all the time, unrestricted. So Uminska's not the messiah this city was hoping for after all. There goes my vote to shit. So, wh what are you saying exactly? I'm saying the bribes and kickbacks are only part of the story, Betel. I'm saying Ominskar is collaborating with both Konstantin Wolf and Watiko. And fuck knows who else. Whether it's for money or power or some other reason, who knows? They can't both win the election. In other words, it's bad. Badder than bad, Petal. This could be the biggest, baddest thing since the last time Watikorp was in the news for trying to fuck us over. I still don't understand what Uminska stands to gain from collaborating with Wolf and European Dawn. I'm sure the answer's in there. Somewhere. There's terabytes of this shit. We've only scratched the surface. But this is not my problem, it's yours. Take it. Wow, shit. What should I do? Your data, your problem. I can't tell you what to do with it, but I can tell you what I would do. This belongs to the world. Keeping it secret benefits no one. If I were you, I'd publish it anonymously. Luckily for both of us, you're not me. Whatever you decide, Bedel, you'll want to tread carefully. Heads will roll. Make sure one of them isn't yours. Also, don't bring the eye to my doorstep. I'll deny everything and throw you to the wolves. No offence. Good dear. None taken. I've uploaded the decrypted data to your iris. It's locked to your voice print. Go do whatever it is that you're going to do. And leave me out of it. Take it to Baruti or to the hand? Publish it in the news, or whatever Baruti would do with it, keep it secret, I don't know. So the whole goddamn election's basically a fraud. Between Leah and Constantine Wolf, and Wadi Corp, I'm <laughs> freaking Wadi Corp, is coming to the meetings with them. The whole damn thing's a sham. I feel like if I take it to the hand that feeds, that I'm gonna get all of them killed. Hmm. God, Baruti is gonna be heartbroken. This campaign was his life. How are you getting on with, uh, you know, things? Actually, I just finished. Where do you want to meet? The cabana on Sun and Shine Plaza. I needed some artificial stimulants to keep me going. Meet me there whenever you're ready. Will do. Hmm. Where do I go first? I'm going to publish it. This is going to get published. What's the worst that could happen if I take it to Baruti first? Could it somehow soften the blow to him? If he knows beforehand? Maybe. 
But with something this big, does he even matter? I mean, he's my friend, but does he even matter, really? This is way bigger than him. I'm gonna go to him first. I feel like I might regret this, but... Unless something horrible happens, I should be able to take it to him and then go to the hand that feeds. I don't see any reason that can't happen. And as his friend, I want to tell him before. Hey, Sissy. Thanks again for helping out. It, it means a lot to me. So, tell me, did you get it? This data won't just change our lives. It's going to affect millions of people. Is it worth it? Maybe it'd be better to keep it to ourselves and trust that the truth will come out some other way. Hell no. No, 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 no. I need to tell him what's on that stick. Regardless of what I do next, Baruti deserves to know. I need to make a decision. Either I hand Baruti the data, or I give it to the hand. I don't think there's a right answer. I just have to follow my gut. I need to tell him what's on that stick. Regardless of what I do next, Baruti deserves to know. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna give him the stick, but I do need to tell him. I looked at the data. I know what it means. You do? I had to have it decrypted, and... You were right. It's bad. Not only is Unity taking corporate money, they're colluding with Constantine Wolf. And Uminska's personally involved. I'm sorry, I- Jesus, Zoe. Give me the data. I need to see this for myself. Hmm. It can't be up to Baruti to decide what to do with it. This belongs to everyone. I'll let him take it from here. Whatever happens next is not up to me. No, I'm taking charge of this. Let's see what other people did. Damn it, I'm in the majority again. Why can't I be in the minority for once? I think there's like one time when I was in the significant minority, and that was in the first book when I decided to kill the guy who was trying to help Kion escape. I'm sorry, Baruti. Uh... Sorry? What do you mean? I can't lie to him. He deserves to know why. I need to tell him the truth, but I can't let him know that I don't trust him with the data. Just... let's just go for it. I can't give you the data. If this means what I think it means, you're too close to the campaign. To Uminska. I... I see. I respect you and I care about you, Baruti, but... This is bigger than us. You're implicated by proxy and so am I. It wouldn't feel right giving you the data. You're taking it to the hand? Yes. I wish you wouldn't. But I understand why you think that's the right thing to do. And I respect your honesty. I need to get going. There are preparations that need to... I, I, I need to prepare. Baruti... It's been a pleasure working with you, Zoe. Honestly. I wish you the very best. Avoid friends.
Ni hao. Avoid unsafe. See you soon. Avoid any unauthorized communications. <sighs> I'm nobody. I knew you wouldn't buy anything. Avoid This city really does feel so alive. Ad bots and things going by and people talking and shops and crazy lights and steam and music and... It really does feel alive. God, with this bomb in my pocket, you know, figuratively speaking, I feel like somebody's gonna come out of the shadows and steal it from me or something. I'm paranoid. It's gonna be one hell of a busy news day. Jeez. What do you even do with this? I mean, if you got this, really, what would you do with it? I have something for you. Ah, a professional visit. Now I am intrigued. So what is it that you may have for me? Oh, come on, come on. Don't leave me in such suspense. Documents linking Unity and Uminska to Watercorp and Wolf. I beg your pardon? Where in Manu's name did you find these documents? Baruti tipped me off. He's had his suspicions and he asked me to find evidence. And you brought it to me to the hand instead of your... It seemed like the right thing to do. That data, it's... It's all in there, all you need for a full expose. Christ our savior on a fucking bicycle. It's dangerous information, Sully. Oh, we'll keep your name out of it. You, yours and his. Be sure of that. Kasha! And I was going to vote for Uminska. The hand and her for crying out loud. A are you sure about this? About giving the data to us? No, but I don't want anything more to do with it. I'll put people on this right away. We'll need to verify every fact and triple check with our own sources. Will you ask Uminska or Watikorp for a response? Huh? Oh, well, that depends. If there's a chance they could destroy the evidence or hide the trail, then no, well, no, we won't. And this is why we must move fast. I need everyone to come in. I don't care if they're half a world away. Everyone! Please keep me in the loop. I, I promise. Now, please, excuse me, Zoe. Of course, yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Well, everything's set in motion. There's gonna be a whole shitstorm going on. It's time to go home, apparently. Can I talk to you? What was that about? Sally looks giddy. What did you tell him? I found something. Unity's been taking corporate payoffs, and they're colluding with Wolf and European Dawn. What? Sally will fill you in on the details. I'm sure you're going to get quite busy. Jesus, sounds like it. Are you okay? Thumbs up. It's not my ass on the line. It's just disappointing. Anyway, see you later. We're, we're still on for dinner. Sure. Worst case scenario, I'd come back to the office after. Yeah. I'd prepare for a worst case scenario if I were you. Yeah, you're gonna, sp you're gonna be spending a whole day here. And the next. And the next. And probably the next month. I'm just trying to remember where I live. It's the Sun and Shine Plaza, right? I think so. I'm pretty hey, sure. Get your man. I'm here to get Our apartment is off Sun and Shine Plaza in the aptly named Sun and Shine Terraces by OCG. Mm -hmm. Ready, I hope you get to where Now 
case, we're taking another jog along the docks. Why be outside when you can be inside enjoying an infinite selection of dreams? I feel like somebody's just gonna pull me into a dark alleyway and beat me up or something. Hey, you lost? No problem. I can give you directions to anywhere hey. in the program. Hey, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. You see something wrong with this picture. This is not... The game developers didn't mess up. This is something. This is a story thing, isn't it? This really is something. The vent's gone, again. The vent wasn't there, and then it showed up, and now it's gone again. What? What is going on? That is fucking weird. Is this one gone too? Oh, hold on. That, no, it looks like that vent is still there. Yeah, they're even still on the map. I can't open it though, I don't have the keys anymore. This one's still here, so it seems like it's only the one that had Abby in it that, the one that had Abby in it that's missing. That is so weird. I'm so sorry I'm late. You really threw us a curveball today. It sounds like you disapprove. Not at all. I mean, it's it's great. Well, it's it's huge. But well, I, I guess it just confirms my fears. Oh. About the election work. Yeah. Well, I guess you were right. You know, it's not about that. No, of course not. Anyway, let's talk. Yes, let's. That's going to be an awkward conversation. Man, this is a really long book. General, you call for me. Step inside, Bamon. How do you find your quarters, General? I find my quarters just fine, Commander. That's not why you were summoned. You see, something's been bothering me. Mia? Yeah. I've spoken to your men at the Keep, and their story is the same as yours. There was a riot instigated by the Resistance. In the ensuing chaos, Apostle Alvani was killed. His body was, inconveniently, burned in the fire. It was a bloodbath, one that someone will have to answer for someday. Certainly, General. I will see to it. I'm sure you will. I also spoke with some of the surviving prisoners. Their story diverged significantly from yours. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. They're a treacherous lot, looking for any excuse to spread discord. Maybe so. But before the riot broke out, the Warden claims he was ordered to execute the Apostle. By you, personally, Commander. Lies! The Infidel is trying to save his own skin. Perhaps, but what reason would he have to lie? It doesn't absolve him of any responsibility in regards to the riot. He still awaits his trial at Coldstone. He tells me the executioner's sword had been sharpened to take Alvani's head, 
at first light. I'm not saying I trust the man. He's a cruel little person. But he appears to respect the chain of command. And what did the prisoners tell you? That the riot was set in motion to free the Apostle, not murder him. And that it succeeded. That's preposterous. Kian Alvane is ashes. He walks in shadow, lost and afraid, far from the glory of the first mountain and the light of the goddess. So you tell me, Commander, and I'd hate to think you're lying to me or omitting the truth. Your relationship with Alvane. There was animosity. You knew each other when you were boys. Ah, oh, we had run-ins. When we were both on the streets of Sedia, it wasn't uncommon. But your rivalry was bloodier, went deeper than boyish pranks. It was a long time ago. We were past that. I want to believe you, Commander. Your position here is important to me. To the Six. To all of Azadir. Have I not always served the Goddess and my people here? Have I not proven myself to the Six and the Council? To the Seat? To you? Any suggestion that I'm less than faithful? It greatly offends me. As it should, Vamon. I have no wish to discover you've been lying to me. I have no wish to see you placed in chains. I want to believe you. And for now, I do. But I will continue investigating this matter, because something about it is not right. Something about it bothers me. If you know something, I urge you to come to me as quickly as possible before I learn you've kept the truth from me. I have not. I walk in the light, Mir. Everything I do, I do for my nation and my people. Very well. You may go. May the Goddess protect you, General. The light shine upon us all and illuminate our path. Night, Ulvik! What news do you have for us, Ulvik? Right. So a man comes into my bar this afternoon. Azadi soldier, off duty. Has a few beers, starts getting flushed and loose-lipped. Man says there's talk of a raid, this very night, in the magic ghetto. And there's a list. A list? The ones they're targeting. The ones they're bringing back out again. But why now? I mean, it's, it's not payback, is it? He did mention the weapons shipment that got blown sky-eye last week. Caused a fair bit of ruckus, that. Was the talk of this place for days. Seems some people enjoy a good explosion. Apparently, the commander of the Azadi Special Forces took it as a personal insult. A commander... Ramon. He would take that personally. Also, man said, there's been more weapons and supplies being smuggled into the city, right under Azadi noses. Well, they've caught a few shipments, so they know people are arming themselves in the ghetto, that there's trouble brewing. Mole's been more cooperative than usual. Whatever you did for her, Kian, it appears to have been appreciated. So, the way I see it, the Azadi might want to make a decisive strike tonight, before they lose control of Old Town. Well, they're not wrong. So, we need to find out who's on this list, and we need to know when they're going to strike, and from Patience where, and we need to... One thing at a time. First, we must learn if, when, and where this raid is taking place. Then we must warn our friends, including the Mole. And then we must get our own people to safety before the Azadi come. I have a few contacts I can poke. Liko? I'll start with our people in the ghetto. Kian, if you could pay the mole a courtesy call. That won't take long. Is there anything else I can do? I doubt it. Let's meet back here before midnight. Will do. Good luck, the both of you. Watch your back. <laughs> they just kind of walked into the door and just teleported out of existence. Hey, they're magicals. It, it happens, you know? I've seen stranger things happen at the, the cock and pussy. 
Yeah, so they mentioned that this episode, or uh, this this book rather, book two, was the longest that they've done yet. And they weren't kidding, this is really long. This is like five plus hours so far. I was thinking the end of the last chapter would be the end of it. You know, Zoe and, and Reza talking, and I, I thought that'd be the end, pretty much. Maybe like a dream sequence after that or something, but it seems there's even more. Anyway, before I continue, I think I should end this episode here before it becomes too long. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.